Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a wallpaper special for Hyperland. I will explain how you can set a wallpaper on your Hyperland installation. There are several options available that you can find on the Hyperland wiki. On my doc files I use SWWW or Hyperpaper. With the new version 2.8.4 of my, my Linux for Work dot files, you can switch between both wallpaper engines. SWWW comes with a lot of transition effects, a transition that you can enable between the switch of two wallpapers. This is not possible with Hyperpaper, but Hyperpaper is very compatible with a lot of system setups with a lot of graphic interfaces with GPUs and so on. So you have to choose the right wallpaper engine for your Hyperlint setup. As always, you can find all links in the description below. And if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's jump in. On Hyperlint, you can use several packages to set up a wallpaper. The solution coming directly from the Hyperlint developer team is Hyperpaper. The solution that I'm currently using in my dot files is SWWW. But the new version 2.8.4 of my dot files will include a switcher where you can choose between SWWW and Hyperpaper. But there are also several other solutions that you can use. Let's start with SWWW. When you want to use SWWW, of course, you need to install it with yay hyphen s s w w w to initialize the background process the daemon of s w w w you need to execute two commands at the startup of your window manager it's s w w w init and then s w w w hyphen daemon hyphen hyphen format xrgb and with that you have the best compatibility of this wallpaper engine for your system then you see here that i execute a wallpaper script and the wallpaper script is just executing here the command sww image then the wallpaper the path to the wallpaper image that you want to use and a transition type and this is a nice thing with SWW that you can use different transition types to switch between the wallpapers. Let's do this with um, my system with super key shift W. Yeah, you see that there is an animation effect. Let's do it again with super key shift W. You see again that nice wipe transition effect. Let's change this to outer. With super key shift W, you see here now another transition effect. Let's switch to another workspace with super key shift W. You have this outer navigation effect. The last one is random. Super key shift W. Yeah. Now the wallpaper comes from the right side. again. So every time a different wallpaper transition effect. But you can also use some animation curves, transition curves, and you can also add frames per second as parameter. You can define the duration. Five. Let's see if this is working. Yeah, now you see it's much slower with five seconds transition duration. Yeah, very slow transition between the both wallpapers. So you can do a lot with SWWW in regards of effects. Now let's switch to Hyperpaper. Hyperpaper is a super fast wallpaper engine and it's also very easy to configure. Let's open the configuration file. You see here in the Hyper folder, you need to add a hyper paper conf and it's very easy yeah so you have a preload section 
And this is how hyperpaper works. You have to preload all the wallpapers that you want to use. And then you set the wallpaper with the wallpaper command. You can define here the identity of the monitor where you want to show this wallpaper. If you just start with a comma, the wallpaper will be shown on all of your monitors. But if you adhere the ID of your monitor, you can really select this is a monitor, uh, this is the wallpaper for this monitor, this is a wallpaper for that monitor. This is splash information that pops up at the bottom. You can disable it with false. And that's mainly it to configure hyperpaper. Let's switch the engine of the dot files to hyperpaper in the version 2.8.4. You can do this here in system. And I switch here to hyperpaper. Now you have to re-log in into your system. So now I'm back on my dot files in Hyperland and now I've switched the engine to Hyperpaper. So when I now change the wallpaper, you see how fast it is to change to a new wallpaper using Hyperpaper. And everything is very well documented here in the Hyperpaper page on the Hyperland wiki. You see here that you need to execute exec once in the Hyperland conf in the standard configuration. Here you can define to disable the splash screen. And here you see an example content of the hyperpaper.conf. You preload an image and display an image on a monitor that you have installed in the system. If you remove dp-1, then the wallpaper will be shown automatically on all of your monitors. So this is the standard configuration, how you use hyperpaper. It's very straightforward. In the near future, there will be also a hyperctl command where we can switch the wallpaper on the fly. This is currently not working on my system. That's why I have used the following solution. I kill the wallpaper, then I set the new wallpaper with the script by replacing the hyperpaper.conf with a template where I fill in the path of the new wallpaper and then I execute the hyperpaper command again. And with that, you can switch the wallpaper also on the fly. This is the template that I'm using. You see here placeholders and I just write these, the new path that is in wallpaper stored, I replace in the file wall template the placeholder wallpaper with the path of the new wallpaper. And this is also working when I, for example, select here a new image with the wallpaper selector. Let's choose this one. And then you have also here the new wallpaper. And that's it. This is SWWW and Hyperpaper. Yeah, and that's it. These are different possibilities to set up wallpaper on Hyperland. And you have also learned some advanced scripting to set up and change the wallpaper on the fly. With that, see you next time.